How's your phone work? Your cell phone, tell me how it works. This was the other uh, bitchiness that I got from people over and over again. They're like, well, all you're doing is saying, how does your phone work? No, I'm trying to draw your attention to literal tech metrics. I don't know where my phone went. <laughs> so that you understand how easy it is to log into you and make a change. So, how did we get to this point where all these good people in radio frequency, etc., that they don't know shit about what we're actually doing in the human body? And in order to explain all of this, I've had to make a gazillion signs. I've had to come back out here over and over again. And I've been trying to figure out why it is there's my phone, that nobody else seems to know these things. Okay? This is my great uncle's folder from Shepherd Air Force Base. I often also show his um, Aberdeen Proving Ground stuff. That's my little pink book, wherever it's hiding at the moment. And then I also go over his old notes with flux density notation with mercury and whatnot. Why? So the people understand that this has been going on for a really long time. So tell me how your phone works. When you click a button and you send an email, you don't see the email leave the phone. It's a wireless invisible signal, just like your body. It's a body part. So when I worked at UW Whitewater for my job, I found IBM software that they alleged was also used way back when, when Fauci and them wanted to get their shit off the ground for attacking the human immune system. Well, if you don't know that the human immune system is 80% your biofield, you called it the aura, you called it stupid. Yeah, I know. That's because 6,000 years of human telemetry, chiropractic, and the rest of it for your circulatory system just magically disappeared. Nobody has any idea what's going on. That was 6,000 years of the human circulatory system. You call it chakras. Yeah, they call it aim and fire. 150 years ago, Aleister Crowley and people, yeah, nothing's real except what you can see. There is no biofield. There's no cymatics. There's no radionics. There's no plasmonics. There's nothing except what you can see. Well, that's a body part that's responsible for 80% of our immune system. How do we know for sure? The definition of children's hospital, the organs and tissues that comprise the immune system, the thymus, the bone marrow, the lymphatic, your vessels, your spleen, and your skin. And so I'm like, yeah, the human biofield being watched by Project Salus. So the human biofield is the aura, is your W band, 802.15.6. Department of Defense Directive 3000.09, everything is autonomous. And you have an MQ-9 Reaper drone attached to your skin and bone. That's a big bird for those of you that know. She's huge. And so for me, I'm like, why in the hell do we need something that big? Well, for those of you in radio frequency yet again that don't understand that we're playing around with the particulate in the atmosphere and perturbating the human biofield with the Doppler, okay? And we're not talking about any of that. We're not talking about geoengineering and weather control and all these systems work together. When I log into your body, I'm looking at multiple manifolds, torus manifolds, and then I'm using mathematics to log into your cell structure with something called biophysics, opto array, electronic, photonic, moving your cells around with pressure, temperature, and physics, physical, biophysics change. Not, oh gee, I'm waving my magic wand. No, I'm logging into your body with radio frequency directly. This is how AI precision healthcare is offered. And I'm gonna show you the bigger sign here in a minute. Step one, since 2005, any little nerd who could code in Zigbee and Bluetooth for light switches since 2005 is working with these biosensors, K-Hop nearest neighbor routing, dynamic channel allocation, thermal dynamic routing, right there. You can go look it up. Open shortest path first, body to body. How did I find it? Cybersecurity for the new digital ID in the 6G low personal area network. Machine to machine, no human can crack it or de-encrypt it or encrypt it. And it's ad hoc, vehicular ad, or ad hoc or whatever. And then the body is what sends the signal. Now, the moment that I found this mathematically by the metrics, I had a shit fit because I'm like, how in the hell are you using the human body for that? What are you doing? If you're doing that, you're using the aura. And of course, you can imagine as a natural telepath, 
having been electronically tortured lifelong for metrics. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You told me, not y'all, but family, professionals, people, oh, energy work is bullshit. The aura's not real. Only believe in what you can see. We're going to fix people's health. Well, I was told I had pseudotumor cerebri. Anybody who got an autoimmune disorder out there? You ever wondered why they can't fix it? Okay. Maybe I should get that other sign back here for a second. Where's your immune system? 80% of your immune system is in that field. Am I able to electronically log into you and change out the cellular homeostasis of your electrical cell structure? And anybody who knows anything about biology, do you shit ham sandwiches? When you go eat your lunch, after you're done eating your lunch, do you shit it out in the same format? No. And why is that? Because we're biochemical beings and we have electricity in our cells. Yeah. But if I hit you with the signal and I decouple your ass from your circadian rhythms by using the ratio, the golden ratio, to decouple, uncouple the cellular state. Now, where did I get this from? Tufts University, Dr. Michael Levin. Life extension, synthetic biology, immortality research. It's called regenerative medicine, biomedical tissue engineering, wireless tissue engineering. For that, we have to disassociate your electrical fields, plural. This is called the biofield at the National Institute of Health. In the quantum market share, it's called the quantum field. In morphogenesis, you heard me, synthetic biology, morphogenesis, it's called the morphogenetic field. And why? Because it's still all the same damn thing. Your cells at every level exchanging data in your lymphatic system, your tissues. And now they're hacking into that, changing it so that they can get transhumanism, synthetic biology, life extension. Where the fuck is everyone else? 